Hi there, I'm with Dr. Linder, who needs no introduction when it comes to breast augmentation and particularly breast revision. He's the man. But I want to know about this new breast implant, Dr. Linder. You bet, absolutely. So this new implant just came out a year ago, and it's called the Inspira Natrel SRX silicone gel. And these implants are phenomenal because they're more cohesive than the old implants. So if we take the new implant here and we compare it with an old implant, you can see oh, yeah. a lot more folding yeah. with the older implant because exactly. they're not as filled, they're not as cohesive, and they're not as viscous, right? Exactly. So when you put that in a human body like that, you can see the chances of visible rippling yeah. are much higher than the new SRXs, like which it. hold their fill and they reduce visible rippling quite a bit. Wow. So these new SRX silicones are a great implant versus the old Style 20 Allergan. They're both made by the same company, but this is now an obsolete product. For women that have enough tissue coverage, we'll use an SRF implant. It's a little bit less cohesive and it's a little bit less round. This is more round, called SRX. This is SRF, this is full, but not as projectile. So that implant would be compared to an implant such as this. And you can see a huge change. You see how this is underfilled? Yes. And this yes. is more filled? Yes. Well, this is really notorious for visible rippling. Look at that. Wow. So these are implants that I consider obsolete right. because they're not filled enough, they're not cohesive enough, and the new SRX and F by Allergan or Natrell are the best implants in the world. Can you use those in revision work? I use these in revisions every week, 57 weeks a year because 57 weeks a year yeah, every week a you year. run a long a year yeah we do we, we <laughs> operate every week and we use silicone and saline as well uh, but with, with respect to the cohesive gels which are the most natural implants these uh, are my, my favorite implant I love these implants and the patients are very very happy especially with revisions if they don't have a lot of breast tissue this implant very nicely uh, reduces rippling and that can be a serious issue when the patients have multiple operations and multiple capsulectomies as well. Well, I know from my experience with revision rhinoplasty that revision surgeries of all kinds, they're the toughest. Yeah, revisions can be difficult. I love revisions. I love a challenge. And primary augmentation means first time goers are a lot of fun. But just like you, Dr. Kotler, it's kind of fun fixing something that somebody else did and something that someone did a really poor job on and then making it look really good. Because wow. that's the ultimate challenge. And you and I have been doing this a long time. And, you know, we've done thousands of breasts and thousands of rhinoplasties. And so we really are great at what we do because of our experience and our judgment. Uh, and the challenge is kind of a little bit more fun now because now I'm taking things that some surgeons in different parts of the country and internationally as well, they don't even want to try to tackle these uh, procedures because they're very, very challenging. And so for me, it's actually... It gives me more of a challenge, and I kind of like that. Well, we're glad to have you. It's my pleasure. <laughs> we yeah. need you. Well, we, we love you. Yeah, yeah, and we sure love working with you as well. Well, likewise. You're the champ. Yeah. Thanks yeah. very much. You're welcome. Good to see you.